we are getting a new space station, how about that? However, this one will be a bit different from what we're used to seeing, at least in real life. Now, the company in question is called Vast, and they are planning to launch the world's first commercial space station, called Haven 1. It is scheduled to launch no earlier than August 2025 aboard a Falcon 9 rocket to low Earth orbit, and initially it will act as an independent crewed space station before being docked as a module to a larger space station that VAST is also currently developing, but which will happen later on. Now, this first module will be docked with SpaceX's Dragon capsule and support human spaceflight missions for up to 30 days with four astronauts on board. It will measure 3.8 meters in diameter, which is a bit less than the 4.2 meter wide modules on the ISS, but it has to fit inside a Falcon 9 fairing. And this module will offer a varied range of things to do, from leisure to science, research, and even in-space manufacturing. So VAST intends to launch their space station into a 500 kilometer orbit at the same inclination as the ISS, although the ISS orbits at around 80 kilometers lower. And after the launch, the module will remain empty without any crew for a few weeks to be thoroughly tested and make sure that everything works fine. Should anything go wrong when there are astronauts inside, the Dragon capsule would be ready to depart almost immediately. Now, currently NASA is planning to decommission the International Space Station by 2030, and so they are hoping that private companies will step up and launch their own space stations in low Earth orbit to be able to accommodate their astronauts. And so they are currently funding the development of four other commercial space stations, these come from Axiom, Blue Origin, Nanorax, and Northrop Grumman. But suddenly, out of the blue, a new competitor appears and says they are launching in 2-3 years with SpaceX. And SpaceX also made a statement about this. And well, obviously, this is wonderful news for NASA. And VAST also intends to go after a piece of NASA's funding cake. To accomplish this, uh, they have a very compelling offer. And uh, this is the most exciting bit about the announcement, artificial gravity. They intend to be the first to develop artificial gravity by constructing a large spinning structure that will generate enough centrifugal force to mimic the gravitational environment our bodies are accustomed to, and thus reducing the detrimental physiological effects of zero gravity. VAST will be operating 100 meter long spinning stick space stations with a capacity for 40 people each that will provide various gravitational environments, including Earth, Mars, Moon, and even asteroid gravities. Holy cow! The artificial gravity stations will be assembled in space with seven modules measuring about seven meters in diameter launched atop SpaceX's Starship rocket. Now I can see NASA having no problem in funding a project like this. And it does not stop here, because they also plan to have zero gravity sections that will be perfect for large scale manufacturing and also for performing other kinds of research. So there you go, that's a lot of hype and now they will have to deliver. 2025? I mean, they said they have a very aggressive schedule and so they are aware of it. The good thing is that Falcon 9 is already there perfectly functioning day in and day out before they launch the first module, Haven 1, that is before August 2025, VAST will launch at least six orbiter missions on SpaceX's uh, rideshare missions to train their team on how to operate in space, plus uh, developing and testing their avionics uh, hardware and software, which will then evolve into the first space station. So it will be important to watch out for those missions to get a feeling of how they are progressing toward their goals. So thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.